Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another video and today I'm going to create a beautiful guitar Afrobeat in Apple Studio. So I'm going to show you how to create a unique guitar melody, add some drums and show the final beat in the end. So let's get started. So let's start off by adjusting the BPM. So I'm going to pick 100 BPM, which is kind of typical when it comes to creating Afrobeats. So first I'm going to start off with the guitar melody, which is going to be the main element for this beat. And for this beat, I'm going to pick a Nile guitar. And I think this plugin was going to use from Contact 7 is one of the best and realistic guitar plugins you can get right now. So I'm going to open up Contact 7. So I'm going to pick the session, pick Nylon, and I'm going to pick, pick Nylon, the melody version. I'm going to pick in the natural sound preset and the closed eyes. And then I'm going to select C1, which is open. So this one sounds like this. Very clean nylon guitar. I'm going to create this beat in A sharp minor. So scale highlighting and select A sharp minor natural. So first I'm going to start off by drawing in a chord progression. So we're going to pick A, D and F. Let's push this one down one octave. And let's pitch up the whole melody one octave. Let's copy it over. So we're going to use three notes again. And then I'm going to drag them down one, two, three notes within the scale. So that sounds really cool. So let's copy it over again. So the first chord, and then I'm going to use G. And as you can see, G and D fit the scale, but this B doesn't fit the scale. So I'm adjusting it to C. Let's copy over this one again and then pick the next note, which is F. And also let's adjust this one, one semitone up. That sounds beautiful. So I'm gonna make some small variations. So for example, that's something right here. And let's say we add an F within the scale right here. And then I'm gonna strum ice this melody so it doesn't sound that quantitized. So let's play, play around with the strumizer and make sure to select preserve and then make sure to play around with the length of the notes, adjust the velocity. And right now it sounds like this. Way softer. That sounds beautiful. And I think it's perfect to start off this beat. So right now let's clone this one. I'm gonna use the second one to create kind of a counter or top melody. So let's see what we can create from scratch. So let's see, we start at D. So create something like this. So I have to pick a note right here. So I think I'm gonna use this F sharp. Let's use this A and then let's copy it over. So we're going to use the exact same rhythm, but then adjust it to the next section of the chord progression. As you can see, this already fits perfectly. But I still want to adjust this one. So let's adjust it to F and I'm adjusting this to G. This one doesn't sound that good. So let's mess around until it sounds perfect. So. This one should be something like this. So let's have a listen. That sounds beautiful. It goes perfectly together with the chord progression. And we could, for example, use this melody in the intro of the beat. So shorten down the notes, play around with the velocity. And that's basically it. So right now let's add the next layer. So I think next up, I'm gonna use Contact 7 again, and let's add some strings. So let's search for some new strings, like this one. Let's say we add the violas, this one. That one sounds really cool. So right now let's start with the root note, and we're gonna just follow the chord progression. Let's pick this note right here. So it should be something like this. I think this goes perfect together. Another element to keep it interesting. So right now I'm looking for some vocal samples. So I usually use Arcade, so let's use it again. And with the new update, they've added a lot of new vocal banks. So I'm gonna use the better off sample bank and let's adjust it to minor. So in this case, we're in A sharp. So that's it. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Let's start off at the exact same position right here, just to not mess it up too much. That sounds really, really cool. So let's remove this too. So on the vocal, I'm gonna remove all low frequencies and all high frequencies. So I just want some of the mid frequencies to play. So it sounds very muffled, sounds very pushed to the background. So let's see. Now let's add some reverb. That sounds beautiful. So right now I think they blend perfect together. I'm making sure I'm not adding too much low frequencies because otherwise it's getting very muddy. So right now I've added the main elements for this beat. So right now let's add some drums and I'm gonna use the African producer bundle, which are recently released. And let's pick some drums. So let's pick this one, this kick. So let's pick the first rim. I'm not like, and I like this one. I'm gonna create that typical Afrobreed rhythm. So the triplet rhythm, copy it over. And of course, I'm gonna randomize it already. So right now it sounds like this. Copy this one, paste it into this one. And I don't like the delay in this case. So I think this sounds way much better. And then let's add some swing, around 70 to 20% of swing is perfect when it comes to making those beats. So let's add a wooden percussion to the main rim. This one sounds really cool and unique. So let's copy it over. So right now we've added the main rhythm and right now let's add the kick. So right here, it's just playing together with the main rim. I'm keeping it very simple and straightforward. So I'm leaving enough room for percussions, which I'm gonna add later on. So I'm adjusting the volumes. So right now let's add a shaker loop. And I've added a lot of shaker loops to the African producer bundle. In total, 60. So I like this one, which sounds very familiar. So let's add it to the playlist. And let's adjust the volume. So this is just an element which you have to add to those types of beats. And then just adjust the volume and that's basically it. It's already pre-mixed. So now I want to add some percussions which add some high frequencies, which make sure the drums come to life. So in the drum kit I've added some heads. So let's add this one. So just add this simple pattern. which is a very regular rhythm. So I just add another one. So I'm adding this unique head, which sounds really cool. And I'm layering it with the main percussion rhythm. Play around with the velocity. So that's basically it, keeping it very, very simple. So right now let's add some drums or percussions which contain some more low frequencies because in the end, these define the groove of this beat. So let's add some random elements from the percussion folder. So let's say we add percussion 16, 21, I'm just picking random ones because they all sound fine. And they're all very easy to use in those types of beats. So 38. And let's pick another one. 85, which contains some more mid and low frequencies. Oh. So I'm adding more and more groove to this beat. So that's it right here. Simple Tom. Very simple, let's add the next percussion. Very simple, layering it with the first kick, usually applied in Emma Piano, but I'm just adding some more mid frequencies. And I'm adding percussion 85, which is not a very regular pattern, but I think it sounds very cool. Still sounds way too loud. For now, just link all these layers to the mixer. And usually I just select them and then just drag down the volume. And then I'm playing around with them individually. 
So that's it. And in this case, make sure the head isn't too loud because otherwise it's gonna take a lot of room in the mix in the end. So now I think it's time for adding the bass line and I'm gonna use a bass from the Mini V3, which I always like to use, amazing bass preset. And it's called a bass you will use. I use this bass in reggaeton, Afrobeat, basically everything. And let's follow the root notes right here. So something like this. And then let's add these ones. Oh! I'm gonna add this F right here. So I've tweaked this bass line and I think it adds a lot of groove to this beat. So let's have a listen. Right now, I think a perfect addition to this one is adding a lock drum. So I'm trying to add some more uniqueness to the sound. So I'm gonna use the Fruity DX10. And in the African Producer Bundle, I've added some lock drum presets, as you already probably know. And I think I'm just dragging in a random one. So let's pick preset eight. Okay, let's get started. I'm just following the root notes with this lock drum. So let's make it easy. So I came up with this. Sounds beautiful and goes perfect together. It's kind of a replacement for the drums, which I will usually add. And then let's add a unique downlifter, which is in the effects. So let's add this one, sounds really dope. So next up, I want to add another melody element and I'm thinking of adding a saxophone. So I found the saxophone sample from the Timeless Afrobeat bundle from Fash Beats. Let's tweak it so it fits the project. And then let's hit three generic. The sample is in A minor. We want to pitch it to A sharp minor. So that's pitching it up one semitone or 100 cents. And I'm adding some reverb at first. So let's have a listen. I want to adjust this second section of the saxophone sample because I think it's not right in this case. That's it, perfect. Okay, that sounds really, really dope. Then I want to add some more up and down lifter and some rolls from the producer bundle. So let's select drum rolls. So I want to add this one. Let's add a second one from roll 19. Turn down the volume. Okay, this sounds really cool. And then let's add some more effects. So the up and down lifter. So let's add this one. And then I'm making sure it's on resample, normalize it, and I'm adjusting the volume. So I think right now I've added almost all the elements. So let me arrange this beat and I'm gonna show the final result in a second. So I just finished this beat. I rearranged it, kept it very simple and very similar to what we've created before. I've made sure I've left enough room for the artist when for example, someone is using this beat to add their vocals. Because in the end, that's what it's all about. You want your beat to be used by artists. And you don't want to add too much to a beat. You want to keep it as simple as possible. Simplicity is key. But right now, let's listen to the final result. So first, I'm just starting off with the chord and the guitar melody. And I think this already grabbed the attention of the listener, which is very important. drums, the roll sound very good. Push the focus to the background while mixing it. The strings sound beautiful. Next 
microphone coming in. Also the log drum, just blends so well together. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the African producer bundle. There is also a free preview available. It contains over 300 free samples. The link will be in the description. So make sure to check it out and download it. And if you enjoyed me watching creating this beat, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have an amazing day, create some awesome music and see you in the next video.